The large animal clinic was built in 1993, along with the veterinary research building, for a cost close to $40 million. This facility is an advanced teaching hospital with up-to-date medical technology and even a non-slip floor made out of recycled automobile tires. The entryway of the south door contains a horseshoe collection comprised of many corrective shoes used to treat many horse lameness and gait abnormalities. This display was shown in the 1898 Texas State Fair and now serves as a reminder of the progress and history in large animal veterinary medicine. Much like the small animal clinic, the large animal clinic has its own unique intensive care unit reserved for those equine patients that are critically ill and require specialized attention. The large animal intensive care unit is composed of seven stalls, including one with an electrical hoist used to lift down horses. All the stalls in this unit are equipped with video surveillance cameras, which are monitored from the nurse's station 24 hours a day by three veterinary technicians. A separate building houses the large animal isolation unit. This building contains six equine stalls and one bovine stall. Special clothing must be worn and strict protocols must be followed when caring for isolated patients. These stalls are also equipped with surveillance cameras for monitoring. Equine patients are taken to one of three exam rooms, pre- and post-operatively, for radiographs to be made. A radiograph is more commonly known as an x-ray and is used extensively in diagnosing problems with patients. A padded stall can be used to restrain an animal in order to sedate it before the radiograph is taken. Each radiograph machine is attached to the ceiling on tracks so that it can be moved around the room. If a patient cannot be moved to a radiology room, a portable radiograph machine is available and can be taken to the patient's location. One of the most prominent features of the large animal clinic is the food animal ward. This department serves a variety of animals, including cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, and exotic animals. A series of gates and pens is used to facilitate the unloading and treatment of these animals as well as a surgical suite and a diagnostic and treatment lab. A mechanical squeeze chute is used to restrain the bovine patients during examinations and diagnostic procedures. If minor surgical procedures need to be performed, side panels can be opened on the chute. A more advanced version of the squeeze chute is the hydraulic squeeze chute. This offers many advantages over the standard squeeze chute because the animal is actually lifted off the ground and rotated on its side while restrained. This allows the patient to be conveniently handled in a manner that is safe for the students and clinicians, as well as the animal. A large room of treatment and recovery pens is located in the food animal ward. These are used as a holding pen while animals await and undergo treatment and to provide a relaxed atmosphere in which animals can recover from their illness. The surgery suite is fully equipped with an operating table, surgical supplies, and a radiograph machine. The operating table has the ability to tilt on its side to ease the transition of the patient into lateral recumbence for the operation. The College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences at Texas A&M University offers many exciting opportunities for students seeking a professional degree in the field of veterinary medicine and animal sciences. Serving as both a challenging academic institution and a fully functional animal hospital, the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences provides an experience unmatched in the world.